<laughs> right, so what we have today is a file manager. So let's uh, see how we, well. So what you could do is you could create a folder, right? So I'll create a folder called new folder. So we have a new folder there. Let's create another folder. Let's call it my pictures. We're gonna create a folder called my pictures, and we're gonna create one called my documents. And where well, my videos, all right? So we created some folders. Now this is the home directory. So we wanna add some. We wanna add some content to the home directory so we could do that so we're going to upload a file so i'm just going to choose file and i'm just going to upload a powerpoint and just press submit so you see we have our powerpoint is uploaded there um we have a little powerpoint icon we can see the date the time and the file size all right so let's say we wanted to add a video let's add a video this this one is a video so graph qr promo we just submit it it shows up as a video okay and we're gonna add some music so i am actually gonna load this there's an mp3 file and what i forgot so you can see the little icon there right let's create another folder called my music so you're creating another folder called my music and now in my videos i'm gonna go into that folder but that's not supposed to happen actually all right so when i click on my new folder or pictures um it went into another so i didn't want that anyway so right now we in the my pictures directory so you could go back to the home we can go into my documents we can go back to home so let's go into picture so we're gonna upload a picture now all right so let's choose a picture there's some flutter pictures are any of these pictures there we go all right so you have a picture we're just gonna submit it let's add some more so we're gonna submit this one all right and let's add one more and submit all right so in my pictures we now have three pictures we can go back out go into my pictures let's say we wanted to create a folder in here we're going to call it my flutter flat f l u t t i think that's a flutter pictures now the post i did my flutter pictures so we could go into my flutter pictures and we could choose some more files and we could add let's add slide to the tree and submit it all right so now we can press this little dot 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 thing to go back out so right now we back into my pictures we was just into my photo pictures if you click on slide it seems to be downloading it for some reason all right so that's good again i have another error so i'm just going to fix that now so the pictures actually is supposed to open up in your browser right but um that type of png doesn't seem to be operating the way it should right so it's supposed to happen like that but because it's kind of like this it kind of up doesn't recognize the cut or PNG, but that's fine. All right, so if you upload some pictures here, that's a dizzy face. All right, so you could see, you can click on it and it opens up there, right? So you could go back into the home directory. If you wanted to view the promo, you could click on it, it should open up there as well. All right, um, the PowerPoint would most likely download, so we see you know, download downloading there, and the MP3 would attempt to play the browser, which right now play the mp3 all right so all right so let's go into my documents we're gonna upload some documents so we're just gonna um, scroll down here and get a document so there's a there's a docx so we can see the docx here let's try a pdf file um all right so pdf should open like normal actually what we could do so what we could do we could upload this document here so that's supposed to be a tutorial and now when we click on it you're supposed to be able to see the tutorial right so that's great so we have some more tutorials what we could do is we could create a folder from my tutorials and we can just upload a few few documents into them if you want to try that all right so all right so we can see we have some tutorials uploaded there in pdf format and they show up as pdf all right so this is our file um manager and i'm just going to show you how we build this <laughs> Oh, and finally, what we could do, we could right click, rename. So we're going to say this is my newest folder. All right, so we rename it and submit that, and that should change. We could do pictures, rename it to my pictures too. All capital letters for no reason. And submit that. 
all right and then you could also delete it right so if you wanted to delete it we just delete it and it should disappear all right so let's go into how we actually build this all right so it's one file and what we could do is let's look at it from the application side of things so, all right so we have this little upload section here so that's just where we upload in the file so that's just a form right so there's the form here we have a file and a folder and we upload in the file right and we deal with this right here so this is where we upload in the file we get the folder if it has a folder we have our uploads directory we check for the file name file type file size we create a random name using the get random function as a custom function move the file and then we save to the file manager all right um and as a function again we're using db model to make things easier if i could go to save file manager all right so all we're doing is inserting the record and the actual files will be saved in the uploads directory all right so that's so let's look at the database side of things so we have the file manager so basically you have the file name the real name so this is the real file name right because we're creating a random name but we're keeping the actual name of the file then we have the file style the file type and this is the folder so whether it's in a folder or not so there's that um so that's pretty straightforward right if it's not in a folder it's in the home directory you have to create it on date and then the file manager folder it's supposed to be folders but file manager folder is where we store all the folders and the folders just have a parent so if it's not a parent it's in the home directory and if it has a parent that means it's within that parent folder so for example two my flutter pictures would be within the directory of the my pictures too right that is just how that works all right so it's pretty simple and it, that's how we build that um my pictures too we go into it and we see my flutter pictures all right so let's look at our directory listing so first we get in all the folders so we say get all parent folders and we list all the parent folders and we say get all files and then we list all the files and we say if it's within a folder then we have this little dot 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 thing which says parent up url and then we get the parent up url all right so that's that little dot 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 thing as if it's within a directory all right so get to know parent folders is a pretty simple function all it says is if it's in a folder you want everything that is within the parent but if it's not within a folder you want all where parent is not right so this is again all folders so if it's not within a folder you want all the folders that it has no parent but if it's within a folder you want all the folders that the parent is that current folder id all right so that's getting all the folders and the files is more or less the same um get all files um where folder is supposed to be null right so if it's not in a folder it's folder is like either equal to zero for some reason it's set at zero i probably should set a default as being null um a folder is null right whichever whichever all and select from file manager where folder is equal to whatever the current folder is right as if it's within a folder so that's how you get your files and that's how you get your folders um and finally that's if you check to see this little dot 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 thing if you're within a folder let's, so let's see how we decide if you're within a folder so the in folder function basically says if get folder id and get any folder id based on the get id which is a parameter right so basically what that says is if you see an id here that means you return a folder all right so basically that's all it does it just checks to see if it has an id and if it has an id that means we return a folder otherwise we're not within a folder and it functions all right so the next thing we're going to show is these little icons so these little icons are based on the file type all right so let's just show our little code there so basically based on the file type we would display some icons so we get in the file type and sometimes we take in any name of the original name of the file as well as effective for documents for office documents all right so if the file type is excel if it has excel in it so if you look at it i don't think i uploaded anything that's excel all right so now uploading something that's excel all right but it's not mm, referencing that as excel all right let's try something else so my code might have changed a bit all right so we have an excel file here because it has this as excel whereas this is supposed to actually check so what i need to do here for like messages which is supposed to be an excel file if you go into the database and we go into file manager 
what we should see is the name is XLS. So what I could do there is check to see if that name is XLS and XLX, XLSX, and we would, we would add this to the XL um, icon. So let me just show the code again, right? So we check in first the type, and if it's of that type, it have that. If it contains XL in it, it shows XL. If it contains audio in it, it shows the music icon. If it shows contains PDF and within this we have open XML format and then we go drill down further so what I could do here is I could put one for XLS so let's say if I was to put X XLS X um, and then put the XL icon so if it doesn't find anything what it does is it just displays a, a file like this but with that change I just make um, it should now show up as being an Excel file as well, right? Because this that code block is checking one against the type of being open XML format, and then two, we're checking against the name of the file. And remember, the name of the file is the real name of the file, right? So yeah, so that's the code for that. So we have images, and then we have videos, and then if we can't find anything, we just display a basic file, right? So you could always add this to this. You can add zip if necessary or anything else all right so that is basically it and it's pretty straightforward what the next thing i'm going to show you is just the right click so we have the right click rename we're using um confirm js for this and the right click is something else i can't remember his name um so context menu jquery context menu is what we're using for right click and jquery confirm is what we're using for the confirm dialog and basically we just set those so if you look here we can see right click events and the right click events container of context menu and then we have the rename and the delete all right so the rename prompt is where we have our confirm plugin and all that does is carries it to a url so it re it reloads the page to a url or send the page to a url and that that url will reload from the current base directory it does the same thing for delete so what it would do is create a URL and then it would reload the page. So if you look at this, well actually let's I'll show you where we're actually doing it. So for example, for rename, so this is the rename logic, right? Renaming the file. Well, file value and one for file and one for folder. So this is the rename logic. We have one for file, one for folder, and basically just checking to see if one we have file within the get parameters and if it does and if we have a name then we rename the file based on the name the interesting file or folder the interesting one for our um, file is that we need to get the current we need to get the current name of the file because we need to keep the extension not really because we're not using that name but for it to look properly right so for example if you're going to rename slide 28 png you want to keep that extension so where did I put that in my pictures? All right, so we want to keep the extension. So even if we say slide, slide 29, we want to keep the extension, all right? So that is why we um, we first need to check for the real name of the file. So that's what we're doing here. We pull in, we get in that one record and we check in for the real name and then we get in the extension using part info. And then we add in that extension back to the name that we rename it to. However, we don't need to do this for the folder part, which makes, makes renaming a folder easy. And finally, delete. We just check in for the action delete, and then we just call it the delete record by ID. And we're doing this for whether the type is a file or a folder. It would vary because it's two different databases. And then we call in the reload current directory function, which just reloads the page. We have the get current URL, which we create a URL based on based on this function so create a url we have the base website part and then we have the arguments that we add in right so we just reloading the page this is the reload function so that way anything that we send would um won't stay right because if it wasn't reloading the page it would stay for example if it was to if i was to undo that so let's say we rename in a file where we have right and we don't reload the page what would happen is you'd still see the the um so you rename this file Damn it. We name to slide 50. Alright. But you'd see slide 45, right? But you'd still see this there. That's so that's why we want to reload the page. So that that, that goes. So it just looks like it's one action, which is pretty cool. 
that's what you want to do so you just um so for documents not this but that all right so you just rename it and it just reloads the page and you don't realize it was sent to another URL. all right so this is the basic file manager um, code will be on github um, you can add it update it make it better make it worse your code all right